What's up? I'm the Zim. This is the Zim video. Today we're going to do simple mastering using both Adobe Audition and Ableton Live. I'll do examples in each program and this can also be applied to pretty much any DAW you are working with. You just have to find the right plugins to use it or the way it works within those uh, programs. But this is super simple mastering. It's for the person that's just working on a mix. They have a song, you're you're new to this audio world, this audio kind of recording, you're doing a podcast, you're, you've recorded your, your session with your your guests and all that stuff, but the wave files, the sound, the song is just quiet. It's just too quiet. You, you, you bounce it down, you render it down, you export it, and it's just really like way quieter than all the rest of the music you listen to. And you're like, well, how do I get it louder? How do I make it so that when I play it for my friends, they can actually hear it when I put it in my car and I'm listening to it to test the mix and stuff I can actually hear it and so I'm just gonna like in a way that's just not you don't have to turn the volume all the way up so I'm just gonna show you a couple quick really quick techniques to uh, get your waveforms up so let's start with um, Ableton Live let's do Ableton Live first so I got a song here I've been working on um, I call it Brothers for Life I'm working on it so what you want to do so it's just there's nothing so that there's this master track here on the bottom. The master track will be any effects you put on this master track when you export it will will affect the whole song. So what we want to do is stick a something on this master track that will boost up the levels. And the super simplest way to do that that I've found so far is just go to your audio effects and find the limiter one. I just take that whole thing. They have some, a couple preset options in there. I just take just the whole thing because I'm gonna what I want to do is listen to it. So what I do is start playing the song. Let's put her up here. So it's playing there. You can kind of probably hear it in the background a little bit. So I always take the ceiling to zero. So it'll be all the way up. The wave file will be as big as it can possibly be. And then I just start to turn up the gain until I start to hear it distort. I'm not going to really spend a lot of time right now listening, but let's just crank it up. So you, as you can hear, it's already the volume's already gone up. I'll put it at 760 or 7.6 decibels louder. And as you can see that little orange bounce right there. It's um, telling me that there's been there's compression being put on this. This is what's going on there. So we're just going to leave it at that. We'll put it at that level. And then we'll just export the song. So let's go to our export audio. And I'm not going to change any of the settings on here. It's already like just wave AIFF. You can pick wave. You can do other things. But we'll just leave it at that. And I'll export the whole song. Let's call it Brothers for, or Brothers for Life um, Video. There it is, it's exporting out. Now I wanna show you what happened. So we made an export of Brothers for Life with, I call it B, B, B4L video. And then I have a Brothers for Life um, as a, just a straight export without any effects on the master track. So what I did was drop them into Ableton Live here. And I wanted to show you what happened. So let's look at the waveform of the original track. So that's the waveform of the original track right there bounce down that's all the stuff that's in my track that's bounce down that's what it looks like before I put any effect on it any limiting any of that limiter on it so now I'll show you the track with the limiter so the same point in the song there's the limiter track there's the the non-limiter track. non-limited limited and as you can see the wave file is a lot fatter so it's gonna make it louder as you heard during the thing so that's one way to you know, just boost your overall track. You know, you listen for it to distort, and until it distorts, you back it off. If you hear it distorting, you back it up a little bit. I mean, again, you know, there's a there's a, as we know, there's an art to mastering. So, you know, if your mix is jacked, your math it's gonna be hard to do this. If like there's one track in your mix that's way louder than the rest, that's gonna affect your ability to to boost up the overall track. But just consider that. So that's how you do it in Ableton Live. Let's go over to Adobe Audition. I'll show you how I do it in Adobe Audition. I like to use Adobe Audition um, because I can see it more ahead of time. Um, so let me show you why, what I mean by that. So we're gonna drop in the original track. I'm gonna go find my original track, um, Brothers for Life without any effects, without just like straight off the mix. This is the one I did. 
Um, let's zoom into it a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on. So as you can see here, that the bulk of the wave is in this section here, but then there's these peaks and stuff. And it's partly because I have a bad mix, but but I know just from experience that I can chop this down and not affect the audio quality of the whole thing. So how do I do that so I can see what's going on in the original? So I want to just, I just want to compress that down and then boost it up is basically what I'm doing. So the way that I do that is um, I go to my effects, you know, folders here and then I find the hard limiter one same kind of thing as before they just call it hard limiter in this one instead of just limiter and I'm looking when I look let's let's get out of here so over on the right column here they give you the decibels where it is and I want to I kind of look at where my bulk of my waveform starts to get thick with audio and it's right around negative 9 dB it's right around here because I found from experience that if I start to dig into where the bulk of the waveform is, that's when it starts to distort. But if I chop off all these kind of peaks and stuff, all these little, the ones that just kind of shoot up, it doesn't tend to affect my overall mix and the sound so I can check out what's going on and hear it a little louder. So I'm looking at negative nine. So that's where I'm going to do. So I'm going to go back to my effects rack here, find the hard limiter one and go negative nine. I already have it in here, so it's already negative nine. I don't boost it at all, so I'm not trying to make it louder at this point. I'm just trying to chop it down at this point. And then I just hit apply. It takes a few seconds. So now, see, it chopped off all those those spikes in the sound, all those little things that were going on. And I want now I want to boost it up. So it's still, it's the same volume, essentially, as it was before. But I want to boost up the overall volume of everything. So I go back to my effects rack, go to um, normalize. And I want to take it all, the whole file, up to 100% to 0 dB. You can do it by percent, so you can do it by dB here. And I just want to hit apply. I take it all the way up. So then, as you see, it just boosted the file up. And now it's louder. So then I just export that. I go to my file, save as, and I'll save it as an, oh, not, that's where I'm saving it. Save it as an MP3. Adobe Audition gives you a bunch of different ways to save it save it as an mp3 and then hit ok and I save it. I've already done it so I'm not going to do it here. So that's how you do it in Adobe Audition. Alright, well that's it. Like I said in the video there's lots, you know, mastering is a, is an art all by itself. Mixing is an art all by itself. Like so many different levels of, of doing audio engineering. There's just like, you could spend a lifetime learning all the nuances and techniques but if you were like me and you just wanted to, you just, you're, you're working on it, you're working on a song, but you just want it to be louder. You just need it to be louder so you can play it in your car with to your friends. And you want to get started on that process. This is a place to start. Look at compression, compress your songs, boost it up, export it, and that's a place you can start to get that kind of information going. And then as time goes on, you can learn more about applying different effects, multi-band compression, all the different things that go into actual mastering and then if you you know I'm a proponent of actually hiring somebody to master your tracks when you when you're finished when you're all done and then you can watch them you can go you can go into their studio hopefully if it's somebody in your your area you can watch what they do and then take some of those techniques and apply them to your own mixes when you're ready to do your own stuff but yeah this gets you started super simple mastering all right hopefully it's helpful if you have any questions for me hit them up in the comments be happy to get back to you and be sure to subscribe to the channel right there. Do it up on the screen or in the, the page below. Peace.